Well, he brought to the party um, the uh, creative energy that he had had with sports. And I mean, he is the guy who, if not directly responsible, at least partially responsible for things like instant replay and slow mo and and story uh, uh, story development of up close and personal and, and things like that. So he brought that energy. Uh, the second thing is he brought with him a lot of money. Previously, uh, as I would describe it, ABC was uh, uh, ABC News was was penurious, and what we had when he came in. What do you need, and how fast can you can you put it to work? How how do you explain that change and the decision to bring him in to br along with all the, all that money? Uh, I think ABC itself uh, had uh, had improved to being number one in prime time. So they could no longer duck the issue of being uh, 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 caring about news. And those were still the days of uh, when the news was uh, the jewel in the crown, and, they, and we really the management supported it dramatically. Um, he had the personal, if not friendship, personal associations with the management, which. Uh, Bill Sheen and, and uh, El Malauer never did. Um, he was a salesman, as a matter of fact, of, 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 and, and he knew how to do it. He was, it was a perfect example of why producers in charge will, will know how to make things happen, whereas lawyers in charge may not. I mean, that, that, that was a basic conflict. An example of to go back to a bit of history, I ran and created the ABC News documentary close-up unit, which won DuPonts and won, uh, I think we won three DuPonts and George Polk's and Peabody's. And that's when a ABC was the, I used to kid around, ABC was the, was the fifth network among three. <laughs> Nobody was watching ABC. And, um, they made me a vice president of documentaries, and I went down to see the then president, I suppose, uh, Elton Rule, president of ABC. And he said, we, we haven't got any ratings, but can you win us some gold? So well, we did. I mean, we went out and, you know, we got, we got the Emmys and we got the, all that kind of stuff. So that, uh, nobody had at that point the money uh, or was willing to shell out the money to create a news division that was really strong. Right. And Rune's creation was, I mean, Rune's contribution was that he drove the, ne the news division to the number one position. He really did. So can you tell us a little bit more, you know, about how he did that, your relationship with him? how? You felt about the the innovations that he brought to the. Well, I was a you know beneficiary of them because um, uh, I remember there was a there was a device. I don't remember specifically what its name was, but it did it did certain visual things, and we couldn't get the engineering department to buy it. One of the engineer executives said, "If we buy it, you'll use it." No kidding. Uh, that's true. And what's more, we need it in Washington. Washington, yes, we need it in Washington. We have half our broadcast comes from Washington. We, we need it there. Well, Rune came in and among asked for a shopping list. I need that. We had it in 24 hours. So that was a major, not, not only a morale booster. Then he went out and he began to hire people who brought to the party knowledge and expertise and in certain cases a name value. Uh, Sandy Van Oker, uh, Sylvia Chase, uh, I mean, I'm not sure that these names mean anything now, but they did at the time. Diane Sawyer, uh, we hired and we also hired young producers away from the opposition. We brought in uh, Rick Kaplan, uh, 
significant contribution and things like that. Now, was it uh, so, so? You had a good working relationship with him. Yeah. Did, and what, was your role somewhat diminished with his? Uh, uh, no, my my, in? my role. If anything, my role was enhanced because I. There was a considerable amount of skepticism at ABC News about Rune Arledge. And a lot of people were, were concerned, Koppel being one of them, Barry Dunsmore being another, even Jennings, Peter Jennings. Who is this guy and what's he going to do to us? And um, I, uh, I played a, a role as a kind of, um, what's the word, Am ameliorating the fears of the, of the troops. When I s went, I remember I went down to Washington after he came in and there was a staff meeting down there. And I said, we're going to be all right. And I felt we were going to be all right. Um, and that kind of calmed the waters. I'm sure that others played the same role.